Okay, you want to use Meet at your school. Let's head into the admin settings and make sure it's set up correctly. So in Apps, G Suite, and coming down here, you'll see that Hangouts Chat, we can leave that as off. Hangouts Meet and Google Hangouts, they group together. So I'm gonna click on there. The first thing is you need to make sure that it is enabled. So at the top here, the service status, I'll turn it on for everyone. You could also turn it on just for staff and students, but easily it's on for everyone. Okay, importantly, the settings we need to have set up for that are this. In the Meet settings, this time I'm going to go specifically down to my organisations and to staff, which is all the teachers. And you can notice there that I have it all on stream, I turn on, recording, turn on, and video calling, let users place in video and voice calls, we turn on. So we have all those on for staff. Make sure you always save your settings at the bottom. Now let's go across to students domain, the organization I should say. And this is where it's really important we have a few different settings. Recording is off, stream is off. Let's go into default video quality. Take it off automatic to audio only. What this is gonna do is force students when they do join a meet to have their video disabled. What that allows is the teacher to actually have a little checklist and check out the teacher video about what's recommended is kids just making sure that they've got an appropriate background and they're dressed appropriately, all of those things before they turn the video on. It's just a, a safety measure to ensure kids aren't jumping into videos that are inappropriate within their home. So if you have that on audio only, it's gonna force them to enter and meet with their video disabled, which still allows them to turn their video on once they're in the meet. And down the bottom, video calling is off. That's the most important one because that stops them creating their own video calls and having a little social chit chat at their own time and a place. So we need to have that one off for students. So just make sure you're putting it for the right organization and making sure that is saved. Okay, the final settings are within the chat settings. And this is because when you turn on Hangouts Meet, you also turn on Google Hangouts Classic, and that's this here. I'll show you, it's hangouts.google.com, and it allows text chat to happen. Now, within your own school, that's not a drama, but for them to be messaging outside the school, that presents a real big challenge, but we can turn that off. So come back to the settings. We're still in the Hangouts Meet here, and we're gonna go Chat Settings. And a couple of things we wanna have in the chat history, we're gonna make sure that's on for students. So I'm gonna go down to my students organization and make sure history is on. And we don't want this ticked because we don't want them to turn off their history settings. So for students, history is on and we're not allowing them to change that. Make sure you either save that or override if need be. Now I'm going to go to the staff. Uh, no, let me head back up to the chat history. Let's go to the external chat settings. So these are super important for students. External chat settings. We're going to make sure once again we're applying these settings to just the students. And we're going to have chat externally off and showing the status to people outside off off, off, really important for students so they can't use Google Hangouts chat for external chatting. Make sure you save that and you're all set up.